So right now, let's just go over a couple of the more advanced features inside of a DSLR controller. Now, the first thing that we're going to take a look at is how you could actually accomplish, accomplish something called focus peaking inside of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings and we're just going to scroll down until we see display filter. Now there's a couple different display filters in here, but what we're going to take a look at first is going to be peaking. So we're going to click on peaking and I'm just going to set it to red for right now. And what this will do, you might be able to see it on my camera right here. You might see like these little red dots flickering around and you see this red outline here. I didn't mean to tap to focus, <laughs> but there you go. So you see this red outline here and you see these red dots. That's letting you know where the outline of your focus is. So if I come over here, we see that the outline is actually on the bassinet. But if I start changing my focus, we can now see that the red outline is on my baby's hair and it's on her eyes also. So that just gives you a guide to let you know where your focus is. Now, since she's wearing like a red and white striped shirt, we might not want to use the color red to show our peaking. So you could easily just switch that to either green or blue. I'm going to switch it to blue right now so it stands out more. And now we could see that we actually have blue lines showing the outline of what's in focus. And you can actually see, see it on her shirt. And here it is again on her hair. And now we got it on the bassinet. Just to give you an even better preview of it. Here, now you can really see those blue lines letting you know what's in focus. And you know, it just changes as you change your focus. And it's a great guide and it's a great help to let you know just exactly what and exactly where your focus is. Now, when you go into that menu on top of red, green, and blue, you'll also see exposure and grayscale. If we select that, you're going to see something really freaky. You're going to see it uh, all in gray, but your outline, instead of being red or blue or green, will actually be this kind of weird digital coloring of what's in focus. I don't really like this feature, but it does, it does help. It does help. I'd normally just stick to either the red, green, or blue outlines, but this really shows you the outline because it's on grayscale also. So just ways to help you get your image in focus. Now, another really great thing for the display filters is actually exposure. So if we click on exposure, we're not going to see anything much right now. But what this will do, it will show you uh, clipping warnings, whether your video is in, uh, whether your video or your photo, whatever you're live previewing, will be either um, clipping to black or clipping to white. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to bump up my ISO just to show you. There we go. So now we got a lot of white that's clipping on here. So if you ever see these types of clipping warnings, what you would do is you just step down, you know, either your ISO, your aperture, or your shutter speed to, you know, get rid of that. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to increase my shutter speed. And there we go. We just got rid of it completely. And all these little extra display filters just really help you get better looking results. You know, it will make it's a double check to make sure that your image is properly exposed. It's a double check to make sure that you're in focus and you have a bunch of other options as well in here. So definitely check it out. Definitely play around with it and that'll do it for this quick little tip.